What's up guys, how's it going? Bruno here, also known as Sucre. And tonight is the big Cyberpunk 2077 release. And of course, I want to get into that action. And we are going to run it in this first generation i7 is the computer I use here in the lab. It's an i7-920, a 1366 um, socket processor from 2008. Let's see how it runs. It's got a GTX 580 and 12 gigs of DDR3 memory and a Asus Rampage 2 Extreme motherboard. And maybe we're going to upgrade it a little bit and see, I mean, what, what, what the game does to the hardware here and what we can achieve with the node processor and old video card and what kind of um, upgrade maybe we can do to make this play a bit better. So right away when I started the game with the i7-920 and the GTX 580, I got a crash. The game wouldn't even open. So unfortunately, the first thing we're going to have to do is install the 1060 with three gigs of video memory. And boy, this video card fit tight in this case. I almost thought it wasn't going in and it almost looks like it's jammed in there. But after it was in, Cyberpunk started just fine. And curiously, the auto detect um, tool set the settings to medium, which I thought was very interesting in a 10 year old system. Actually, it's the processor is about 12 years old and the video card, of course, the 1060 is much newer. It's really cool to see how thought out all the menus are. You have um, images that represent the easy, medium and hard settings. And then after that, you have to pick sort of your origin story. And I went with the girl because I like playing with girls. And I sort of did a random look and adjusted a couple of things. Boy, I wasn't expecting this to show um, genitals and all. I don't know what the politics on YouTube will be for this. So I will blur the parts out, but it's very interesting. So you start the game in a garage. Apparently your car broke down and this guy is trying to help you fix the car. He is a bit useless because you get in there and very easily bypass the problem that you are having. This is basically a scene to help you adjust to the controls and to the movement of the character and the action key and everything. And I already love how this car looks. It's exactly my kind of thing with a big turbo showing up. I mean, I don't think it makes enough noise because with the turbo like that and the exhaust pipe coming out of the bonnet, you probably wouldn't be able to talk to anybody around it because of how much noise it would make. After you kind of jerry-rig your car working, this sheriff guy comes in and starts trying to hustle you. I don't understand this very well, but apparently you're not welcome in this city. They don't tell you why but it's very clear because the sheriff wants you out the first goal when you leave the garage here is to find this radio tower that you need to um, talk to someone about a drop apparently you are a mover of goods of some kind and i guess a smuggler i guess that's what you are in this at this point after you get to the radio tower you manage to get a signal and talk to your contact and he updates you with the location of your pickup. You get to a trailer home and you talk a little bit to this intimidating big guy. And then you guys get what you're supposed to take across the border and put in the trunk of the car and leave his place in the direction of the border you want to cross. Getting there, your car is blocked and there's some more intimidation going on. Some border patrol takes you in this office to there's interview you. And at that point, you have to um, bribe him. But everything is very guided here. You don't have a lot of choices. So I'm, I'm guessing that this part of the game is really so you can get the feel of the game. After you come back from your interview with the border patrol, your partner takes the wheel. Right after you cross the border, your car is intercepted by 
some um, police cars or army or something like that and they try to stop you but now your partner is driving and you get to shoot at the guys for a little bit this is really no challenge at all and after a few seconds you guys manage to run away from the police and stash your car in a garage at this point apparently you and this guy make a partnership for crime and you guys head off to night city unfortunately my computer kept crashing once i got to night city and i tried many different things apparently after the first crash the game automatically sets the configuration to minimum and lowers the resolution that's thoughtful of them but it didn't help so i took this time to go ahead and do the other upgrade i was planning for this if you have been keeping an eye at that msi afterburner hud on the left you will see that the cpu is not the bottleneck at all through all of the gameplay the gpu has been at 99 percent and the cpu barely hits 50 to 60 percent so upgrading the processor here i'm pretty sure you won't do any good but since i have it here i might as well do it so this is a xeon 5670 it's a six core 12 thread processor pretty much maxing out this platform well getting into this i had no idea that the cpu was going to be the bottleneck here i thought the 1060 would be enough to saturate the i7 920 but apparently this game is much more gpu heavy than cpu and the i7 920 cpu is having no trouble running this game at full hd on medium settings while the GTX 1060 is at 100% load and the GTX 580 couldn't even start the game. That's a bit disappointing because the GTX 580 does run Witcher 3. And knowing that Cyberpunk was made by CD Projekt Red, the same company that made Witcher 3 that runs on the GTX 580, it would sort of make sense for Cyberpunk to also run on the GTX 580. But it doesn't so oh well. After all, switching the CPU did give us from 3 to 5 FPS. Mainly, it feels like the processor is taking less of a hit with the video capture. After switching the processor, the game crashed a couple of times at the same point as before, but randomly it passed that point and allowed me to do the virtual training inside the virtual world of Cyberpunk and a subsequent mission. After the first mission, it crashed again, so I decided to call it quits for the day and collect my earnings. All in all, I think so far the game is good. At full HD, it really doesn't seem like it's a processor hog. Maybe it is at the maximum settings, but you would need a very beefy GPU for that. So for my friends with aging processors, this game will run up to the first generation i7s, and it seems like you could even run it in a high-end Core 2 Quad. If the game doesn't require updated instruction sets like SSC 4.2. Today we're not going to test that, I bet someone else will, and that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Soon we're going to have a more detailed view of the lab PC running other games, and if you would like to see something that I haven't tested, please do leave a comment, and if it's within my reach, I will try to answer your question, or maybe turn it into another video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time.